Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. So in this video, I'm gonna talk a little bit about how shop organization can actually be pretty good for your mental health. So let me flip you around and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so the first thing I wanna talk about with shop organization is around your anvil um, and the anvil stand itself. Here you can see that I have a steel stand. It's a tri-leg design. And then, you know, I built this myself. The stand actually weighs about 350 pounds and Olga weighs 465. But nonetheless, I have things right here. I've got a nice tool holding situation around here. These are just bars that are bent at 90 degree angles that are appropriately spaced so I can drop tooling in it like that. Now, if you don't have a metal stand where you can do a bracket like this and just weld it on nice, easy peasy, obviously you could just turn out some little feet and screw it to um, you know, a square stand or so. Consequently, one of the other organization situations that you can do is like on the little achayo we have here, which I have videos on, where we made these out of just some bits of pipe, um, square pipe, and screwed them right to the side there. That's a pretty handy situation as well. And of course you could make steeples and you know be able to drop your tooling in a hand forged thing that you have going on there. Over across the shop, I've got spaces for tons of tongs, hammers. I've got a rack and it's basically on this beam here. That keeps things up and out of the way and I don't have to hunt and search for things and it keeps me very efficient. I've got power hammer tooling closer to the power hammer and I've got hand hammer and hand tooling closer to the anvil and the vise. On the vise, I have some additional tooling um, areas that I can store stuff and keep things organized. Um, this not only helps out with efficiency, but as I said at the beginning of this video, it can really help out on your mental health, so to speak. And how can it help out with that? Stuff like this drives me insane. Now that I had a very busy day, I needed just a flat place to lay tools that I, were, that I was in the middle of working on some acanthus leaves, but I do not have a setup yet here in my shop of where I'm going to put these and hang these and keep these spring tools. But the important thing is, is not to have them laying all over your shop, having to hunt for these wherever you go, right? That's bad. We don't want that, right? We don't want to be over here trying to walk all over this stuff, you know, and then when we need it at the vise or we need it at the anvil, we don't want to have to go run and hunt for this type stuff. That's bad. We don't want that at all. So having a place for all that to stay organized and neatly, uh, neatly so can really help out the stress factor when you are forging. To give you another example of this, I'll go to the other side of the shop real quick. Take you on a quick little tour <laughs> as we head on to the other side of the shop. Oh, before I do that, let's swing around here. Right here, I've made a plate caddy to hold all of my steel for cutting up for plasma blanks. Okay, I've got a trailer parked in here so I can throw the, the spares in here. Actually, this is getting ready to go to the scrap yard. Um, but yeah, I've got a little steel caddy here that if you look at it, there you go. You can put, I have spaces that I can put and organize my steel in a nice vertical situation where I can get at it and everything like that. That is very handy. Again, this all relieves some of the stresses of hunting and finding steel and iron and things like that when you're looking for it and you're right in the middle of a job. So coming in here, here's another good example. As many of you know, I've got a Langmuir Systems cutting table, a CNC plasma bed, a little 32 inch by four foot wide deal, and I cut a bunch of blanks. So if I go here, you can see a whole bunch of the blanks I've been cutting. These are for myself, for projects, orders that I've got going on. And then, you know, you can see these extra blanks here that I've been cutting up, stuff like that. Anyways, this is no go. I don't wanna leave this here forever. It's crowding up my workbench. It's not an appropriate place to have, have stuff because now whenever I want to go sketch something real quick or I need a place that I can, a nice flat spot that I can weld stuff up, now I have the extra stress and hassle to have to move all this junk out of my way. So that brings us over to here. 
that is why I put up this shelving unit here. So this way I can house all of my plasma blanks in one nice little area and they can all stay there. And, it, and it's important to keep them organized. So I don't know if you guys can see that all right or so. There you go. So those are like snowflake blanks. As you can see, I'm out of those at this moment. Tree blanks, tree hooks, six inch heart hooks, just like so. See, they are all nicely organized and laid down. This really, really, really does help me uh, keep my mind straight in the workshop. So you may be asking yourself this question, Roy, okay, big deal. What does all this mean with mental health? And what it really does come down to is that blacksmithing is almost like mental gymnastics in the forge. You are an orchestrator of processes. And so to do that, you have got to keep all processes in balance, right? You have to orchestrate a whole bunch of things going on on a job. Say if you're working for clients, there's measurements to be concerned about. There are clients wants to be concerned about. There's the iron work itself that you're doing. There's the attachment method that you're planning on, whether it's traditional joinery or whether it's more modern day with arc welding or maybe a mix of both. There's a lot of considerations. There's tool breakdowns. There's tool maintenance that you have to do. There's organization that you should have for them tools. Where is that angle grinder? Where did I just put it? I need to grind off this little bit of rag while another piece is heating up, right, in the forge. And so all of that actually stresses you out more than you might think. So if you get the opportunity to organize your shops, and I know it's spring at the recording of this video, it's springtime, everybody kind of gets in that spring cleaning mood. You should have that mood year round, especially if you're gonna do it as a profession because it just helps you mentally get ready for the day and get started on those jobs and on those orders. It is so much harder to start on a project that you may be wanting to get on, whether you're a professional or a hobbyist, so much harder if there's like 15 extra steps you have to do and take every time you want to light up the forge in order to actually get to forging. So this will also bring me into a nice little side, uh, a little side comment here, commentary. If you don't have a workshop and you're just, you have to drag your stuff, say out of a garage or a barn or things like that, which I know most of you are just getting started and you may have to do, it's really important that you put everything in such a way, make your life easy because if it's not easy, you're not gonna do it. If it's gonna take you an hour and a half to get set up after work when you get home in the evening, let's be honest, you just rather watch some TV, right? It's, it, for the most part, most people, they're just like, ah, I'll, I'll, you know what, I'll do it tomorrow, right? And then that will hold you back in your smithing endeavors. So whatever you can do, put casters on things, say you've got a concrete driveway, put rollers on stuff, have everything neatly packed, so this way it can be in and out. It really will change the way that you do your ironwork and your attitude about that ironwork getting done. So that's it for today. Thank you all for listening to me on this little jaunt around my shop and talking about organization and uh, how it's important for mental health. If you like this video, you know what to do there. If you want, love the content that I do on my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. And Thank you to all the channel members who make this video content possible. It really wouldn't be possible without you all. Um, thank you so much. And if you have any interest in supporting this channel, you can do so over at our website, blacksmithpds.com, and maybe purchase yourself some uh, blanks there that we sell for blacksmiths, or, or you could become a fine channel member yourself. So that's it. God bless. We'll catch you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching.